I want to get into his apology here. This is, uh, and, I, and I'll pause and stop again, but this is his apparent apology. He says it's not an apology, but it's kind of where he's going, maybe like a, a further explanation of um, some of the some of the foolery uh, in his video uh, and, and his kind of justification for it. So this is his apology um, right here. Let's listen to it. to not necessarily apologize but i wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week so first of all when i did the artwork i knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot uh simply because you know religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people but i also didn't mean to like mock, this wasn't like a fuck you to you people, um, fuck you to the Christians. Like, you know, it wasn't, it was not that. Yeah, it, it was, he says it wasn't that, but it was that, right? You, you know, again, you, when you, when you live contra God's ways, then that is what you communicate, whether intentionally or unintentionally, because you blaspheme in God. You are. Um, and so you, you may not think going into it that that's your intention, but that's exactly um, how it's received by a holy God, right? So, so again, you know, live in light of God's ways or God's holiness will be against you. It was literally me saying, oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus. Like that was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper. I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. Um, and I know like given my history with, you know, the call me by your name video, anything that I do related to religion can be seen as like mockery. That just was not the case with this. All right. So, so it's not the case with this, he says. Um, and there'll be others who, you know, depict Jesus as well. And, and they'd be, they'd be blaspheming as well if they were to do that. Um, but again, you know, he, his intention, according to his testimony is that he was not trying to mock Christianity, but other, but, but to communicate that he's back like Jesus Christ. So there's a recognition that there's some kind of resurrection of Christ and there indeed was a resurrection and we live as Christians in light of that resurrection, our future hope uh, in our present state. But he, he um, again, the close association with I'm back like Jesus Christ. Well, your, your coming back has no correlation with Christ coming back right in his resurrection. So even to depict yourself so closely to the representation of Christ for number one, but then number two, uh, for his resurrection, again, it's, 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 it's blasphemy. It's, it is. It just is. Um, it, it's not warranted at all. And I will say, though, with the communion video, with me eating the crackers and juice, I uh, I thought that video was going to be the video to lighten the mood, to take it down, like, less serious or whatnot. I thought that was something that we all wanted to do as kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is, you know, it's me eating the communion, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but and this is the thing, right? So, so th there are going to be a lot of people who are in trouble with God first and foremost, because of their sin, right? They, their, their sinful nature. They are at odds with God by nature. But then the, w with that, there's going to be judgment increased or intensified in eternity because men acted in ignorance, doing things you don't know what you're doing. You know, so 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 why are you trying to depict the communion scene in whatever video he's talking about when you don't even know what it's about? You see, your, your ignorance is going to get you into greater judgment. So, so like, don't, don't, don't do that. Right. Because the, 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 the pushback that you're getting from 
whatever, whether it be um, people who are into religion or Christians particularly or whatever, the pushback that you're getting is a foretaste of God's pushback that you're going to get for all eternity, lest you repent. And so don't don't play and dabble with things that you don't know what you're talking about because you're going to find yourself in a position that you can't get out of. But um, I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard, though. I'm, I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100 percent or, you know, here we have like this idea of, um, you, you know, this you, you, you are a Christian if you follow the rules by the book. And, um, you know, that that's how one is um, made right with God by by following. How, how many rules do you follow? I follow more rules than you so that I'm on another level than you. I don't follow as many rules as you. So uh, I'm, I'm still a Christian by association because I can say I am, but um, I'm not I'm not where you're at. Right. I'm not I'm not as like legalistic or I'm not as righteous or holy or whatever as you are because I don't follow all the rules. Well, the world would be a lot crazier. Ah, uh, OK. This was the statement right here. Listen to this. Well, the world would be a lot crazier. Hold on. Christianity by the book 100 percent or, you know, the world would be a lot crazier. So stop right there. So the world would be a lot crazier if you followed all the rules of Christianity. Um, yeah, this again, he doesn't know what he's talking about. This is ignorance right here. So, you know, following God's ways, doing things God's ways would make things worse in our world. Uh, no, no, that that isn't the case. Now, when you misapply what God said and you do things that God did not prescribe um, and you interpret it as if he did, then then you're going to find yourself in a bad position. But 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 anytime you follow God and you do what God has prescribed from his word, you're not going to be the worse off for it. And our world isn't going to be the worse off for it. Um, it's it's when people who function autonomously, who do their own thing, um, who have this um, this blending of the synchronistic worldviews that kind of intermingle quasi Christianity or you know religious things, and then bring in their 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 vain imaginations of what they think God is like and who He is, um, that you have this chaotic situation um, uh, of worldviews and ideologies. But to follow the ways of the Bible and to follow the ways of Christ isn't going to make our world worse off, but better off. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? This is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know I know, like, you know, I, I messed up, like, really bad this time. Um, and I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely, like, taking a mental toll on me. Of course. Yeah, you, 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 good, good. I'm glad. And I pray, my prayer is that that mental toll that is taking place in your life leads you to repentance. That's my prayer, right? That's my prayer. And, um, you know, I, I would love to have a conversation with little Nas X, right? Just let's, let's chop it up and let's talk. And I'm not saying that that will ever be the case, but, but, um, you know, that he would believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ, that he would live for the glory of God and that he would learn the ways of God and then use, um, whatever platform he has, whether it be, uh, in his, in his family life with his friends, even in his, in his giftings that he would use that, uh, for the glory of God to denounce what he's done and then to promote music and, 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 and an ideology that is pleasing to the Lord. Um, but, but I don't know if he will, right. That, that has to be a supernatural work of God. But again, he should feel bothered. You should feel bothered when you blaspheme God. You should feel bothered in your conscience because you're created in the image of God and you're not living in a way that is in alignment with the ways of God. So you should feel some kind of way about that. And the pushback that you're getting should bother you. Those are checks and balances God put in place to, again, 
remind you that you are not your own, right? Now, you weren't bought with the price because you're not in Christ, but nonetheless, you're not this floaty, you know, uh, you know, autonomous person who gets to kind of do your own thing outside of accountability. And that accountability is the truth and God and his word, his people. So, yeah, unless you repent, you will be bothered from 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 this life to the next. So these are things that I pray God uses to bring you to repentance. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot, but I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. Okay. What, what, why are there Christian fans of little Nas X again? I, you know, how he's defining Christian, I doubt that these are Christians, right? But let's just say by by happenstance, right, that, that you happen to be a Christian and you're a fan of Little Nas X, you need to repent. You need to stop it. Right? You know this does not please God. So you need to you need to put the little Nas X away and repent. Okay. So so you know, that's number one. Number two, again, how he defines Christian. I doubt that, um, I don't want to say I doubt that, that there's people who profess to be Christians who listen to his music, but I, they, there's no Christians who, who've been bought by the blood, right? Who, who are in Christ, who are vibing to little Nas X and, and at the same time, um, you know, faithfully reading their Bibles and, you know, praying to the Lord and, going to church and seeking to live a holy life that, that are uh, at the same time listening to little Nas X that that's not happening. I was put on this earth to, you know, bring people closer together and promote love. And like, that's, that's who I am. I'm yeah, no, you were put on this earth to bring glory to God and that glory to God needs to be according to his standard. Now how you interpret what your calling is. And this is something I think is important, man. I was talking to someone recently. He said, you know, when I was younger, somebody said that I was called to be a preacher and, and, and I had a calling in my life and I didn't know what that meant, but now I get it, you know? And, and my, meanwhile, he, his, his profession is, um, you know, his profession is to better people in, in, in a certain aspect, but there, there's all kind of cussing and, and all kinds of, um, you know, um, um, promoting of evil and, and, and doing things that are not for the glory of God and gossip and slander and all that stuff going on, uh, in this person's profession. And, uh, you know, and, and he thinks that he's doing, you know, God's will because he's a good person. Every time somebody needs something, he's there. And, and again, this is secular mindset, right? This is, is how the world thinks. And, you know, that, that's a sharp distinction. He, you know, even here, little Nas X is saying, you know, well, I was put on this earth to bring people together into love and all that. And it's like, no, you were, you were created for the glory of God. And that glory of God is to be according to his standard, not your own. Right. So he said, well, I was put here to bring people together. So I, I, I brought my family together and now my job is done. Uh, you know, my good will outweigh my bad. No, 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 no. That will send you to hell quicker than anything else, right? Um, because you, you can't, you, there are no good versus evil, you know, in, in regards to your balance in life. Um, you you need to be, be, be ye perfect, right? You need to be perfect. You need to be perfectly holy. Well, you can't be, and I can't be. No one can be, but Christ was. He came as a substitute for sinners. So you're, you need to repent, Right. And you need to turn from your sin and trust in Christ alone. That needs to be your righteousness. And, and when you do that, he gives you a new heart. And now your mind is in the process of being renewed. So you think the thoughts of God, right? So that you're not doing your own thing. So they're not, you're not following the whims of your own internal desires so that your life is ordered by God and that you're doing things that are pleasing to him. So, so again, the, the, the unbeliever has no concept of these things, right? They, they don't, they don't grasp these things and they think that we are bigots and that we are, you know, um, legalistic, et cetera. Uh, but, but we need to be able to have these conversations with people like a little Nas X who believe wrongly about God, but think they're right because they do a couple good things or because they've helped people out. No, that 
kind of religion will send you straight to hell, right? That kind of secular autonomous religion will send you straight to hell. I'm not like some, I'm not like some evil demon guy trying to destroy every body's values and stuff like that. That's, that's not me. So then stop depicting that because, and again, you know, who knows some men, listen, sometimes, sometimes the devil, the devil will take willing participants or the devil will take people who are just kind of nonchalant about things. You know, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal, you know, like, okay, I'm having fun, you know, whatever. And that was okay. Well, uh, well, then, then, then let's let's have fun, right? Let's have fun and and mock Christianity. Yeah. It's not really mocking, you know. Like it's just entertainment, and you're, you know, you're trying to make a broader point, and so it's okay, right? So, so then, so then let's do this. He'll take willing participants or passive participants and make them willing. So, so again, you, you say that isn't the case, but again, how does God view it? No, God, God views your actions as evil. And, 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 and God views your actions as deserving eternal punishment. And so, again, it isn't how you perceive yourself. It's how God perceives you in light of your sin and in light of your actions and in light of your promotion and in light of your, your promotions of uh, evil, you are in the same breath opposing God. You are, whether you see that or not. Uh, what else is I going to say? Yeah, um, and also with the video, there's no disrespect there. I thought me clearly not being on the side of the devil in that video was the, I don't know, was, was like there was an understanding there that I'm not like trying to diss uh, Christianity. Um, what was I going to say? What else? Uh, this is this is this is also this is not like something I wrote down or whatnot. This is something off the top of my head. I'm trying to get out. Uh, lastly, again, I I hope sooner or later we can move forward, and I'm excited for the rest of uh, this era and things I have planned. And hey, baby. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's all I have to say for right now. I'm sending you guys love, I'm sending my fans love. I'm sending the people um, who I heard love. Um, yeah. Mwah. All right. Well, that ends that. So y'all pray for Lil Nas X. Y'all pray for this man. He he needs Jesus. He does. He, he, he needs the Lord. And um, he's a young man who is talented and who has skill sets that um, he can do a lot of good with. And, and, and maybe some people's interpretation is that that's exactly what he does, but is he bringing glory to God? Right. He's not, he's not bringing glory to God. And so I, I would, I would that you would be saved, my friend. I would that you would come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior and that you would truly live for what you were created to do. That all the, 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 the intangible talents and, you know, inclinations and desires that God has placed in your heart that that could be utilized for the glory of God so that you could um you, you could you could do the things that bring him pleasure and not yourself and not the world and not whoever is over you in the um in the music world and in the entertainment realm. So anyway, this is a longer video. Thank you for sticking around. If you did, please do me a favor, like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. And if you would like to financially contribute to the proverbial life, you can do so by looking at the description below and also contribute in that right way. It's scrolling down on the bottom, patreon.com backslash proverbial life. Also at PayPal, Team E. Ramirez, Cash App, dollar sign, Team E. Ramirez, and always through Super Chats. And we have Venmo down here below as well. So, all right, y'all, till next time, look to Christ, live wisely, and leave a legacy behind for generations to follow. Grace and peace, y'all.